Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C Zook Stitch and today is Saturday, December 5th, 2020. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you're here. I really missed you guys. It's been, what, a couple weeks now um, and a lot has happened in those couple of weeks. Uh, but I'm really glad that you're here and able to spend a little bit of your weekend or week whenever you're watching this with me. So let's just jump right into it. Um, for my friends who live in the States, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I had a great Thanksgiving. It was very quiet. I did not, I cooked two dishes and I went camping with a couple of uh, super close friends of mine and we're in a pod together. It's just the three of us. And they bought a uh, camper this summer. And so we took it out to uh, the coast and to a state park at the coast and we camped. It was quiet, it was chilly and rainy and just perfect. Our Thanksgiving dinner, so I did make stuffing and I made an apple crisp, which I make every year. I usually host, I usually have around between 10 and 14 people for Thanksgiving and I cook everything. So this year I just cooked those two dishes, apple crisp and stuffing, and we picked up kind of one of those meals, um, you know, a already cooked turkey breast uh, from Costco, and then from a local store out here we got mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and green beans, um, and we just heated it up in the microwave. It was awesome. It was so quiet and nice. And for those of you who are not from or who have never visited the Pacific Northwest, whatever image you have in your head of the Pacific Northwest is probably exactly what it was like. It was drizzly, it was foresty, <laughs> and it was really chilly. Um, it was perfect. I was so happy. Um, and so everything went well with that, and it was really nice to just, you know, I haven't traveled I haven't, I barely even get groceries anymore. I usually have them delivered to my house. So that was a really big treat for 2020 to be able to get away and just have a different view. So that was great. Um, and then the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, um, so if you remember, um, I very abruptly put my house back on the market uh, on that Monday of Thanksgiving. And Tuesday night around 10 p.m., we got an offer. We went a little bit back and forth, but literally as we were loading up the camper to leave town on Wednesday, we um, we were in contract. So I am in contract now on my house. I'm very excited. I understand that anything can still happen. Uh, it's not a done deal until the keys are officially handed over. Uh, right now, as of right now, my closing date is December 29th, which is really soon. Um, however, my realtor and I have a suspicion, and this may not come true, but we think they might be uh, gearing up to ask for an earlier closing just because they um, the appraiser's already been out, the inspection was yesterday, um, so I think they they maybe are going to be asking for an earlier um, closing date, which would be fine with me. I'm happy. Um, I'd be happy to consider that, um, and it would mean that I would be in an apartment <laughs> by Christmas, um, which is crazy. So things are going to get a little nuts here this month. But I wanted to share that good news with you. Those of you who've been with me for a while knows. My house was on the market for three months this summer and nothing. Uh, and then within, what, 24 or 48 hours of putting it on the market, the week of Thanksgiving, we get an offer. So I'm thrilled, cautiously optimistic, and I did go out and look at apartments. Uh, so those of you who are relatively new, my plan is just to rent for about six months or so while I look for my right next house. So I found an apartment complex. I haven't signed anything just because... Um, you know, I want to wait for the inspection and the appraisal and all that to go through. So that's where we are at. Um, so yeah, I think December is going to be a very busy, exciting month. Um, so let's, so I'm looking at my notes here. Um, one new floss tuber that I want to mention to you, um, is Candy, K-A-N-D-A-Y. She is the 614 Stitcher on Flosstube. I'll link her down below. 
Um, she is very active in our um, magazine monthly challenge group. She's active in the Seizook Stitch group. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. She um, lives in Ohio and she does cross stitch, but she also does quilting and she's multi craftal. Um, and she just uploaded her very first floss tube. So I'm super excited about that. So I will link her down below and go on over and check out Candy. Uh, you won't be sorry. She, she's really wonderful. For our December magazine monthly cross stitch challenge, our theme. So as you know, we have the Facebook group, which we would love for you to join if you haven't already. It's very low stress. Um, nobody's going to kick you out if you don't finish the challenge. Um, so we have a theme each month and then we also do an acrostic each month. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to do those. Uh, the goal of the group is to um, stitch from those magazines you have sitting on your shelf. Maybe you have a lot of um, charts that are flagged that you want to stitch someday. And this is a way to pull them off the shelf, dust them off, and actually get some starts and finishes on them. Uh, and I, I uh, do this with my really good friend Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches, uh, also on FlossTube. I'll link her down below as well. But our theme for December is Winter Wonderland. Now I know for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere that doesn't make a lot of sense. So what we are, we are planning, as long as there's interest, we're planning on continuing to do this. We started in September, um, but for the next round we will be doing a Southern Hemisphere version so that it'll be more appropriate for you folks in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, but for right now, our December theme is Winter Wonderland. So the idea is that you would either, whether it's a whip or a new start from a magazine, that you pick something that fits that theme. And our cross stick, uh, a lot of people had trouble with turkey last month. Um, the K and the Y and the U, I think, was a little bit tricky. Uh, so we went easier on you. Um, the, the acrostic is snow, S-N-O-W. Very simple. And I'll show you a little bit later what I'm doing for my pieces. I think I might've already showed you last month. Um, but that is where we're at with that. And we have some really exciting things planned for 2021 coming up in January, which hopefully we'll be announcing in another week or so. Uh, we're really excited about that. So stay tuned for all of that goodness. So I had, so this, I did not stitch at all when I was camping. I brought some easy pieces to stitch and it just never seemed the right, really right time. So I went almost a week and with the offer and packing for camping and unpacking and just everything, there was almost a week in there where I didn't stitch in November. So I'm, I feel quite behind, but it's okay. It's all for fun. So I have no finishes, no FFOs. I do have a new start. I started this on December 1st, and I know there's several of you who are stitching this as well. This is from the December issue of Just Cross Stitch. This is this year's 2020 issue. There's a lot of great charts in there. You can see I have a bunch flagged. This actually is just an extra. This is not one from my, um, from my magazine challenge. It just happens to be extra. This is called the Peace Sampler, and it's by Kathy Busey. And this is what it looks like. It reads, we shall, we shall find peace. We shall hear the angels. We shall see the sky sparkling with diamonds. And I just fell in love with this immediately. So my goal for this month, month was six hours on it. And I've done more than that. Um, and at this point, I'm just going to go for a finish on it. So this is where I'm at. Um, so I have to finish this row so you can see there's some there's a lot of back stitching in this which is I don't love back stitching but I mean it's simple back stitching to follow um so you can see there's little back stitching around these to make them snowflakes so I have six of these to go what else I have another row of words that says sparkling with diamonds to go and then I have some um like these down below to go and then it's done well so this does not call for beads it called well I guess on the these are candles and it calls for gold beads on top of each candle for the flame 
Now up here, what is missing are some berries um, that they call for French knots and or cross stitches in this uh, DMC 304, which is like a cranberry color. I'm going to replace those with beads because I think it will just be pretty and it will stand out. So I have this, I'm over six hours on this already, but I'm so close to a finish. I'm just going to finish it up. Um, so I'm going to work on it tonight and maybe have to do some tomorrow, just depending on how far I get tonight. Um, but hopefully next week you will see this as a finish. And did I write down, I don't, this is 28 count. It's just a white Lugana that I got from 123 Stitch. Just very simple. And I love it. And I think it'll be so pretty to just, I'll probably just frame it in a simple frame. Hang it up. So this one goes really fast. Uh, the progress is just really quick. It's fun. There's some Algerian eyelets in here. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Al Algerian eye stitch and a lot of back stitching. And this wreath is all cross stitch. Um, the leaves on the candles are cross stitch. Um, the center snowflakes are cross stitch and then just kind of filled in with back stitch. So I am loving this. And I love seeing the progress in our group on this, uh, in the Magazine Monthly Challenge. A lot of folks are working on this. So I highly recommend that. So that's my new start. <laughs> my room is ridiculous. Over here on this side, I have um, a huge box full of Christmas gifts that I need to wrap and mail out. So it's a little nuts in here. I have to get that done this, I'd like to get that done this weekend. Okay, so whips. So this feels like a really long time ago that I worked on this, but for my whip go in um, November, one of the pieces that was called was Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow. And my goal on the whip go is 10 hours, and it was also called for December. So I am work still working on this first block. I started this in Mania and just got a little bit done. This is a Mania start. This is by um, Carachal Samplings. It's Hawkrun Hollow. And let's take a little look. This is how far I got. So I got the whole house done. That took me about 10 hours. <laughs> I got the whole house done. So what is left in this block? And this will be one of my plans for this coming week is to get the 10 hours in. So what is left in this block? Spider webs on each of the top corners. There's some bats and a couple of ghosts around here. And then there's some words over here that says, we do lie beneath the grass over here. So my goal is to get that block just done this year. Um, so then I have one block on. My overall goal on this piece is to have four blocks in total done by the end of 2021. Okay. So that's where we are at. So you can remember that. So when I talk about my plans, for this week, you will know that this is in it. And then, of course, my temperature tree. This is by Stitching Mommy, and this is on her Etsy shop. Uh, so if you are thinking about doing it, this is a really great temperature tree. You know, you can get it, get the tree stitched all before uh, 2021 starts, which I would recommend. I didn't do that, um, and so I've been playing kind of, I wish I had done it. I've just been playing catch up every month, but. Each branch represents a, a month, and then each leaf represents a day of that month, and you fill in the high temperatures for your area. As I said, I live in the Pacific Northwest, and she has a variety of temperatures. So I live in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm using the varied temperature. And it seems to be working really well. The highest it goes is, I think, 100 degrees or higher. Now, if you lived in a really hot climate, you might want to use the hot temperature chart, which I think it goes up to like 110 or higher, or maybe even higher. I'm not sure. Um, the only, and then it goes down into the 20s and teens, I think, for the, for like the coldest. I probably won't be using those. So on the coldest side, there's maybe two or three colors that I won't be using at all. But for the most part, I really think that that was the right one for me um, living in Oregon. So we are nearing the end of this. So this is where we're at. November is almost entirely done. I just have 
November 30th to do because it wasn't, I wait until midnight in case they change the temperatures. So I just have November 30th. This is the December branch, our last branch. It's all done, ready to go, ready to be filled in. And then down here, I have two or three rows to finish off the base of the tree. And it's going to be done. So it will be finished this year. Well, I guess technically I have to wait till midnight on December 31st to put in that last um, that last leaf. But this will be done. I'm so excited. This has been really fun to, to do. So that is Temperature Tree by Stitching Mommy. Anything else I want to say about that? Nope, I think I said everything about that. So that's really all I worked on, which does not feel like much considering it's been two weeks since I last spoke with you. But that's just kind of this time of year it just gets really busy. Okay, so haul. So last October, October 2019, I ordered from Stitchy Bots the Advent calendar box. Um, and it was delivered and I left it downstairs um, on my buffet so I don't have the actual box but it's just a box full of wrapped little goodies and I open one each day and so what I thought I would do so I've already opened them because I can't wait and I don't know that you need to see me open each one but what I'll do is I'll just show you what I got each week until um, the 25 days are over I think it was around $60 plus shipping but like I said I had to sign up last October and I was actually confused because I thought it was for that December and it wasn't it was a full year out so this has been kind of a long time coming um, but let me show you some of the things I got so we don't know what you get so this was day one this is um, a eight yards of silk by flower silk by stitchy box so they they put a little note in each one which i appreciate so this is an exclusive i think to the box welcome to our 2020 christmas advent box we start off with a brand new flower silk colorway it's called christmas lights isn't it gorgeous and it's a silk and it's eight yards so you have plenty to do a project i don't know what i'm going to use this for Wow, it's gorgeous. So that was the first one we got. And then number two, see I even taped the little note on it. We got some seed beads in trans gold luster green. So tiny luster green seed beads to de de decorate your stitching. So some beads, that'll be great to add to the stash. But look how these beads and this floss go together. Can you see that? Like, oh my gosh, so great. And then day three, we got this wood pendant. So it's like a little wood hoop. It doesn't come apart, um, but you can make it into a necklace. And add a small bit of stitching to this pendant with a bit of E6000 glue, and you have a lovely handmade gift for your favorite someone, asterisk. Stitchy box fully supports selecting yourself as your favorite someone. That is a great finishing piece. And then day four, I kept in the package. So this is what a lot of the packages, this was folded up and you have the little sticker on it that tells you what day. And I'm not necessarily gonna keep these all together um, with the tags on them after I show them to you. I'll just put them, I'll probably keep them together just in case they're all to be used for a project that we get at the end of the day, end of the box at the end of, I think there is a pattern in there. But day four, were jingle bells. I love that sound. Um, and we he I heard it in the box. So I wonder what that is. Silver jingle bells. Use these to decorate a hanging piece or attach them to sneaky sneaks who try to peek while you are wrapping presents. So they're just silver bells. Well, that's not a good sound. And you get four of them. So that will be great. Those I will keep in the bag. And then day five, I've also kept in the bag. This was today's that I just opened. This is a lamp work Christmas tree. And it's a uh, uh, fabulous lamp work Christmas tree to embellish your stitching or scissor fob. So it is a bead, so you can see there's a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom. And this is what it looks like. Very sweet. So I don't, I don't want to lose these, you know what I mean? So I'll have to figure out a good way to store them. 
maybe just a Ziploc baggie or something, especially if I'm going to be moving soon. Like these are all such tiny, tiny pieces, so I don't want to lose anything. So that's where we're at so far through day five. We have, what, 20 more to go. So it's fun. It's fun. I also have a chocolate ad advent box, um, calendar. It's pretty inexpensive chocolate. But, you know, it's really nice to start my day with a little piece of chocolate. Okay, so going on with haul. I also got my October Thread Pack, Thread Club from Color and Cotton. Um, I use all colors. I'm in the all colors group. So we get five skeins each month. So this is from October. So this is Cranberry. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. This is Aztec. I love that pink. It's like a coppery pink. That's pretty true to color. We got lemongrass. I love that color too. We got dusty blue. It looks a little purpley in real life. It's actually very similar to the top I'm wearing today. And witch's brew, which is like a really pretty purpley gray. And so you put them all together and they're just so pretty. And like I said, I'm going to do this through 2020 and then I'm going to end the floss part. I'm going to keep my um, subscription for the fabric um, just because I, I, I've explained this before, but I end up just buying the called for floss for the most part anyway. So it's nice to have these and this has been fun, but I'm just going to in that and put my money towards another fabric of the month club okay what came in the mail also is my this is the december 2020 issue of the world of cross stitching see i have some things flagged so i'm going to try to film a flip through of this right after this video which should be uploaded later this week um so this is a this is a great issue sometimes with these issues i don't find things i want to i want to stitch with the, this particular issue but I like this one so and the free gift this time I am like I want to cry I am so happy and so emotional over it I saw um fancy lady stitches Tina um she's over in the UK and so obviously it takes a while for these to get here so we're in the US we're a little bit behind so it was maybe a month ago or so so that she showed hers and she showed her free gift um and sometimes the free gifts are different for those in the U.S. Just because I think for shipping uh, purposes, it's, you know, sometimes they get actual, uh, like, 3D type, like, a case for your needles or something, which would be really hard to ship. And so they give us something else that's easier to ship. But she showed this, and then she showed the free gift. And I lost my mind, and I almost went on eBay to see if anybody was selling it. I said, no, let's wait and see if it comes with your December issue. And it did. And I kind of have forgotten about it just with everything going on. But I am so, like, I almost cried. This is a 2021 calendar. It's Beatrix Potter. I'm sorry, it's Peter Rabbit. Beatrix, sorry, Peter Rabbit, same thing. So uh, I don't care so much about the calendar part. I care about these charts. You get these six charts that you see here. I want to stitch them all. It just reminds me so much of my childhood. Like I just look at like this image and I'm just, it just brings me comfort because of my childhood, but I want to stitch all of them. So here are, I'll just do, well, I'm not gonna, I'll flip through when I show the flip through, but there's six charts in here. I wanna stitch them all and then hang them as like a series. I don't know when, but I am just absolutely thrilled. Thrilled. So I'll do a flip through closer up uh, of each of these when I do my flip through of the magazine. I am so excited that that free gift came with that. So that came in the mail. Now, that's really all the haul I have. So not, not a lot. I've been very good. Um, but I've gotten some very generous gifts in the mail. Very, very generous. So my friend Robin, you know Robin and I are friends now from Bird's Eye Stitches. She had the score of the lifetime at her goodwill in Arizona. Um, she just went in to see if anything was up. Somebody had just dropped off some someone's 
maybe it was from an estate sale or something, but it was basically their entire cross stitch um, stash. So she bought it and having the heart, the good sweet heart that, that Robin has, she says, yes, I'm definitely sharing this with people. Um, so I'm sure she'll be doing some giveaways. Well, actually, I shouldn't, I, I'm sure she'll do some giveaways on her channel. So check out her channel. I don't know for sure. But there you go, Robin. You're on the spot. But so she shared some of her goodness with me, um, which is very sweet. So this is, I'm not going to take it out of the package. So hopefully, there you go. This is a 28 count r, &R creme brulee. It is an 11 and a half by 27 and a quarter piece of fabric which is a good size. Goodwill had it priced at a buck 49. I, what? You know, with things like this, and I know it's, it's quite controversial, um, about what, what does your family and friends do with your stuff once you pass? Not that anybody wants to think about that, but, um, see, do you see this wing that has been sticking out? I can't control it. It does what it wants. There, I tucked it behind my ear, but now my hair looks kind of weird. It does what it wants, so I apologize. But anyway, so I know it's controversial. I know some people say, it's fine, send it to Goodwill. I don't expect, you know, I do this for the enjoyment. I don't expect my friends and family to hang on to it if they don't want it or appreciate it or know what to do with it. Other people say, oh my gosh, that's terrible. It's so much money that somebody invested into this stash. Um, my biggest thing, I mean, I'm young and healthy, knock on wood, but I, one of my goals for 2021 is to write up a will. Um, and I am going to leave pretty much all my craft stuff to a couple of my friends who are into crafts because I, not to put a burden on them, but I also know that they will understand, uh, the value of it. And that's just my personal, you might feel differently. Um, you might feel, I don't care what happens to it. It doesn't matter. Or these particular pieces, I want to go to a guild or donate all the floss to a children's craft center or something like that, right? Like it's completely up to you. So I'm not here to tell you what to do. I've decided that what, what I want to do is I want to leave my stuff in a will um, to people who know what to do with it. Because there's a lot of money that I've invested in it. But what makes me so happy with finds like this and when somebody like Robin finds it um, at a Goodwill for $1.49 is she passes it on, right? And she shares it. She snags it up, but then she doles it out across the community, which I think is a wonderful thing. And then we, a lot of people get to enjoy whosoever stash this was, and it goes into good hands will be taken care of. So um, if you care... <laughs> about your stash and you might not and there's certain things in my stash I don't care about but you know put it in your will that who you want to take care of it or if you want it to go to a guild or if you want it to be donated to goodwill or if you want it to be it just takes the pressure off your family and friends to have to figure out is this worth something is it not especially if they're not into crafts they don't know and I don't expect them to know um so and of course they're grieving you right um and your loss in their lives. And so just making things as clear as possible. And that goes for any craft or hobby, not just cross stitch, of course. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, these couple of friends of mine, they know what to do. And I trust their heart that they'll keep what they want and that they'll share it with the community. So that's just my little PSA for the day is write down what your wishes are. So this was originally $17 and she got it for about $49. So she sent that, which is a great piece. I don't know, obviously, what I'm going to stitch on it yet, but it will be a great addition. Oh, it's a 28 count. I don't know if I said that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this mega piece. This is cream. Look at that. It's giant. So Goodwill had it priced at $5.49. It was originally priced at $54. It is... A 32 count Belfast, well, Belfast is 32 count. The cut size is 35 by 40. You know what could go on here? Like a long dog? Or a couple long dogs? <laughs> 35 by 40 on 32 count. Yeah. 
So I will probably save the, I mean, obviously I'm going to save it for something big. And, and these are great because I tend to do larger pieces. So that was so generous of Robin. Um, she has one of the kindest, most generous spirits um, out there. In addition to that, she sent us some fun things. She sent us a bunch of booklets. I won't go through all of them here of give for giveaways, or she said I could keep what I wanted. So I haven't looked super closely at all of them yet. Um, but I am going to, there's a couple that I'm going to give away today that I think you'll like, but a lot of them are like the Beatrix Potter calendar. I got a lot of them are calendars, um, with charts inside them. Well, this, this says keepsake calendar, but it's like, yeah. Oh yeah. It is a calendar. And it's kind of fun because it's, here's a 1990 calendar, but it has these charts in it, right? So that's, that's so super fun. I love this little bunny one. I think that would be super cute to stitch. Um, so she sent a bunch of these. Look at that one. I guess I am going to show you all of them. I, that's so unique. It's so unique because it's, there's lambs and goats and a cow and a lion and a tiger. What an interesting, it's a Bible verse. I should have known that, but I didn't. A book of roses. Look how pretty that is. That shading. What else did she send? Oh, a book of, oh, this is another calendar. A 1989 calendar with hearts. That would make um, great little ornaments. And then this is a Better Homes and Gardens stocking. And then two more that I have in my giveaway pile, which you'll be seeing shortly. So Robin, thank you so very much for your kindness and your generosity. And then I got another stitchy. So I, oh, I should tell you, I went to the PO box yesterday, Friday, and I closed it out. So no more PO box. So if you have my PO box address, which I know some of you do, um, I, I did have things forwarded to this house until I have another address. Which I don't have yet. Um, sorry, it's gonna be quick for a second. I just want to keep all this stuff together. Um, so, if you have my PO box address, just delete it. It is no more. But I had one. I had two packages left to pick up. One was a box of family cookies from my three aunts, um, Gail, who a lot of you know because she's in all the Facebook groups and she frequently comments. Hi Gail. Um, and my other aunt Cindy and my other aunt Nancy, um, they're, they're sisters. They're my dad's sisters. Um, they're a hoot. Um, they all live in Minnesota and every year they send me a box of like the traditional Christmas cookies that were always at the table, um, for Christmas. And it just, I opened up the box and there's just something really nostalgic about it that tastes like home to me. So I picked up that box, which was wonderful. And then there was another package from our friend Lynette in Australia. Hi, Lynette. Um, and you know, Lynette has an Etsy shop and she's been, you know, earlier she allowed me to pick out a chart that I wanted from her Etsy shop. And um, several of you have bought things from her Etsy shop. So I'll be sure to link her down below. But she sent me... Um, some really precious goodies. So I'm, I'll start here. So she sent me this Blackbird Designs Loose Feather Series for the birds. She cites a bird. This is a little sampler now. Look at that cat with the bird. And I think that's why she sent it. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And, wait, I'm going to check if this is, let me just check. Oh, no, it's not. So she sent this and then she sent this floss with it. Doesn't that look like a perfect match? It's not the call for, but it's a perfect match. So this floss is from Australia. It's called Tropic Sea by Cottage Garden Threads, 10 meters. I don't know what that is in yards. 100% um, cotton, six strand. Uh, it's beautiful. Certified color and light fast. Oh, and then it gives you instructions on how to properly wash your, your completed pieces. Hand dyed in Australia, dye lots will vary. Pam Spurway and Katie Dawson. 
is are the designers at Cottage Garden Threads. So, isn't that beautiful? I love I love the colors and I love this chart and I just can't get over how this chart calls for a bunch of week dye weeks dye works. I love it. Twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three
Um, I think this is going to be a New Year's Eve start for me. I think I've decided. Or, yeah, New because I have a New Year's Day start. Um, we're going to do glitter houses with my friends Robin and Andrea. Um, this would be a good New Year's Eve start, I think. So I'm going to do that on New Year's Eve. Um, and so, oh, and then the DMC recommended, if you want to use DMC and, and not use the Sulky, uh, is uh, DMC 12 called Tender Green. Um, and it's the chart is 79 by 79 inches. So it's, it's pretty small, but it's so beautiful. I just love, it's like a little sampler, like the little hearts. It just shows so much love for the cats or whatever center you choose. Um, and then, as if that weren't like amazing enough, she sent, I heard when I got the package, I heard that it was really funny. I had no idea what it was. She sent this precious little tin. I love that little tin. And inside it is a ring and a thread drop. It's a hot air balloon. Isn't that pretty? It's so, so pretty. So Lynette, thank you so much again for your kindness and generosity. I mean, I'm just blown away. Blown away. I, I have no words. So thank you so, so very much. Okay, so that is my stitchy kindness and my haul. Now let's go on to giveaways. Have I mailed any out yet? No. I think some of you have been waiting for a while. Again, my goal this afternoon is to wrap presents, get giveaways ready to ship out, and get that done. Um, so I apologize. I say that every week. It's just been nuts. But I am going to give away two books today. These are from Robin, her stash that she sent me, and they're both Christmas. Uh, oh, gosh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Um, they are both from her Christmas stash. So, the first one is called Prize Winning Ornaments 3 from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. So they're just, their ornaments. Oops, there's a chart on the back there. I love this one. I was hesitating because I was like, do I want to give this away? I will give it away. I love that one. I think that's precious. I think that's beautiful. So in here, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So it is a used book, right? Um, and I'm gonna include this because it's, oh, it's a, well, it looks like a copy, but I don't, it's ripped out of somewhere. So I'll just show you, I don't know if you see. So this is, it, I don't, Maybe it's from this book, but it, the numbers don't match up. It is not from this magazine, but it has the same charts as is in this magazine. And there is a started piece. I'm not sure who started this. I don't think Robin did. I think maybe her um, grandmother or, or mother-in-law started this. Robin, maybe you can help us. There's a couple names on the side here with phone numbers. Um, but no area code, so you can't track them down. So it is, you know, this is a book from 1988. But wow, these are such great. You can change the years. There's a chart on the back um, that will let you change the years, or you can leave the years off. So if you want to win this, say something about ornament. Okay. Like, I want a stitch ornament, or I like the ornament. My favorite ornament is anything like that. Okay. And then... Here's another, I don't know what all this is, but this is called the Mistletoe Express. Um, and it's just a lot of a variety of Christmas designs. I mean, of course, you can finish them however you want. Raggedy Ann and Andy. There's things on the back. Um... Let me see. So it's a variety. So it's not necessarily all Christmas. Um, and there's what I was saying. Now, I don't know if that belongs in there. It's like a pattern pieces. And it's probably for a project in here. So if you would like to stitch this. 
This is from 1982. So this is vintage classic. If you would like to say this, um, or win this, say something about mistletoe. M-I-S-T-L-E-T-O-E. -E, mistletoe. So Robin, thank you so much. Look at this little cityscape. Isn't that cute? Robin, thank you so much for sending those so that we could give them away to our viewers. So there's that. Now, we're going to talk. We're almost, we're almost through, folks. We're going to talk about December plans. I already mentioned the pea sampler that I showed you earlier. My goal is six hours on that. I'm just going to finish it up this weekend. Um, Winter Quakers. So this is by Rosewood Manor. This is the last seasonal one that I'm going to start this year. So I started each one on the first day of the respective seasons. I'm going to start this on the first day of winter if I'm not moving or something. And my goal is just four hours total on this piece. Okay. So that's that. And I have the whole kit and the call for it calls for Valdani floss and the fabric and all that. Hearthside Christmas. This is a new chart from Erica Michaels. I really, really love it. I had to buy it right away. It says, friends for your fireside, a wreath for your door, more pleasure at Christmas than ever before. Contentment and laughter, good times and good cheer, and peace to go with you all through the new year. I love it. I just, I love the sentiment, and I just think it's precious. So I want to start that, and I want to get six hours in this month on that. I've ordered the floss, um, I and I think I have fabric here in my stash that would work. It calls for 36 count something, but I have 32 count that will work. So I'm going to start that. I would like to finish Bergen um, from Norway. This is a little ornament that my parents bought me last year in 2019 when they went to Norway for their 50th wedding anniversary. I started this during, during Jolly July. This is about an hour's worth of work. I would like to finish it because it's so small and there's no reason why it can't be finished. I don't know if that will get done. Okay. Um, the next thing that I will be starting, so this is my December theme and acrostic both for a magazine monthly challenge. This is my oldest magazine, uh, or oldest whip. I just ripped this out of the magazine, and I don't know where the magazine is, but I, they no longer publish it. It's called Stitch World, but this is called Christmas Dinner. Isn't that beautiful? And that's what it will look like. And it's done. So I plan to start on this and do 10 hours total. So that will be two hours for the theme, which is Winter Wonderland, so that fits. And then for two hours each for each of the letters in snow. And I think I said S was for Santa, N was for nature, O was for, it's my oldest chart, and W was for, what was W? Winter? White? Because I'm using white fabric? I can't remember what W is, but I fit it in there. <laughs> so 10 hours on this, and this is, um, yeah, so 10 hours on that. And then whip go. Okay, yeah, so then finish the temperature tree. The temperature tree will be finished up. And then whip go for this month. As I mentioned before, Halloween at Hawker and Hollow, so I will be doing 10 hours on that at some point. And then Hoity Toity will get its final 10 hours. So we haven't seen this in a little while. So this is what it looks like. And I'm using the Jan Hicks Creates a Color Conversion that she created. Now if you go to madforyarn.com, she has a spot in there where she lists all her color conversions. And so I'm going to do 10 more hours on this, and this is where we are at. So I think last time I worked mostly down this side. I love these colors so much. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on this month. Oh, and then I have not forgotten about Spring at Hawker and Hollow. I'm just really far behind. At this point, I should probably be at scene six or seven. I'm on four, <laughs> just this one right here. 
I have not stitched on it in a while. I just want to stitch all the Christmas stuff because it's December. So this is where it's at. The ship is done. It has a lot of water fill in and some waves to go. And then what else? There's three kites up here and some clouds and a couple birds. There's a way to go. I'd like to work on that this month. I'm getting further and further behind. <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. Originally, I was going to be done with it in May next year. And so that might be pushed back a little bit. But that's all right. They're just goals. So this week, though, what am I going to work on? So that's December overall. And that's quite a lot, especially if I'm going to be closing and moving, which hopefully will work out that it, everything works out. Um, this week, I'm going to work on temperature tree on Sundays. I'm going to finish up piece samplers. So that's what I'll work on tonight and maybe tomorrow if I have to finish it up and temperature tree tomorrow on Sunday. Um, this week, I would like to do 10 hours on the Christmas dinner and get that done and maybe start in on Halloween at Hawker and Hollow for the Whip Go piece. So that's kind of what's coming up this week. I expect to be here next week um, with a regular update. If I'm not, you just know that things are crazy. <laughs> so no worries um, about that. So a few things that I am thinking of doing, and this was before my house was uh, pending, went to pending. Um, so I usually do a wet parade. So I wanted to check with you, and I'm happy to do it. It might not happen until after I move, but I am happy to do it. I don't mind doing it. But I would like to know if you guys like watching whip parades or if you find them somewhat like it's all the same at a certain point. Because this is the time of year a lot of people do it. And I would be happy to do it. I think I have about 40 whips or so. Um, so if you would like me to do a parade, let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, I also have been wanting, and I plan to do this in December, and now December, of course, is quite crazy. I've been wanting to do a YouTube live uh, chart dive. So we just look through the charts that are in my stash. Um, and I like the idea of live because we can interact and comment. And then if you, for some reason, cannot make the live, um, it stays on Facebook so you can at least still watch it. Um, so I thought about that. So let me know if you would be interested in me doing a Facebook, or not Facebook, a YouTube live uh, where we can kind of interact a little bit to do a chart drive. So again, that might wait. So I have from the week of Christmas and the week of New Year's off. So if I can move, that's all the more kind of why I'm like, if I can move before that and be kind of settled and then we can have some fun during those weeks. And then I am planning on doing a planning 2021 video relatively soon because I know it's coming up. I have lots of plans. I have lots of goals. And that's why I guess I'm asking about the whip parade because I have my whip go board um, set up, ready to go, and I can show you those. Um, I know you kind of see everything throughout the year anyway, um, but I want to do a planning for 2021 where I just talk about my whip go plans, my goals. I have big goals um, for all the whips that I have. I already kind of have an idea of what I want to do for mania and that type of thing. So I plan to do that, and I know a lot of you like my planning videos, which is great because I love doing them. So maybe, and then January 1 is my two-year anniversary of being on Floss Tube. So we'll do something special, and I'll be doing a bunch of giveaways. Um, yeah, so it should be good. So that's kind of what is coming up over the next month, six weeks, whenever we get things done. But I really hope that with that chunk of time over Christmas and New Year's that I'll be able to... Uh, focus on you guys a little bit more. I feel like I've been sort of out of out of sorts with that. So that's what's coming up. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, or if you have other ideas that I'm not thinking of, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know what you want to see. So YouTube live chart dive. And I like that it rhymes. I'm not going to lie about that. I really like live chart dive. It rhymes. Let me know if you want a whip parade or if you would rather me just show the whips as I'm doing like the planning video or if you want them separate. Okay, that's all I have for today. I'm going to go pick up my room and, oh no, I'm going to do a flip through and then pick up my room here and then go have some lunch. So I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.